Hi everybody, uh, welcome to a special edition of Rami's Retro. It's my What Sold video. Um, so this is going to start on February 2nd, was my first sale after my last video. Uh, and then it's gonna run through obviously all of February and all of March. Uh, and I think my last sale then was March 30th. So we've got a few pages to go here. We've got quite a few items. Um, so let's get started. Okay, well, first on the list is the um, leopard cross stitch. I actually had somebody who was interested um, almost right away and she sent me a pretty low offer and wanted me to take it apart. It was, it was framed, it was really nicely framed and it had like a padding on the inside and um, I was really apprehensive about doing that. I really didn't want to take it apart. Um, she just wanted a cheaper shipping. Um, we kind of went back and forth and, and I told her, you know, basically, no, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Um, and so she kind of, you know, thought about it. And a couple of days later, she sent me another offer um, for the $15 and I went ahead and sold it for that. I think I listed it for like 18 or something originally. Um, so I was happy with that and I hope she was happy with it too, even though it did come to her in the frame. Um, then we had the Dachshund letter holder. I, I loved that, I thought it was so cool. And I, we actually picked that up quite some time ago. Um, so it was, it was great that it finally sold, um, and that sold for $19.59, so I was happy with that. Um, I only paid $3.49 for it. Oh, and the leopard uh, cross-stitch I paid $1.49 for. I'm sorry, I should have said that. Um, so I paid $1.49, I sold it for $15, and then the um, Dachshund letter holder I paid $3.49, and I sold it for $19.59. Then we've got the um, wood-framed tile. Um, it was like a trivet or you could hang it on the wall if you wanted to. Um, I think the tile itself, um, it had like little blue flowers in a pot and that was made in Italy, but the whole thing together framed and everything was made in Mexico. So it was like a twofer. Um, I paid $4.49 for that and I sold it for $14.68. Then we have the Relpo um, Swan and Baby Planter. Super cute. It was filthy, dirty, gross when we found it. Um, I paid $1.49 for it, and that planter sold for $21.70. Then we've got the little boy with overalls figurine. Um, he's by UCGCI. Um, really, really cute. Um, he was pretty dirty and gross when we found him, too. Um, we didn't have to sit on him for too long. Uh, I paid $1.49 for him, and we sold him for $12. Not a huge profit, but that's about what I figured he was worth, so I'm glad that he sold. Uh, then we have the Fitz and Floyd seashell box. It was like a little box with a little pink seashell on the top. We paid $2.49 for that. Um, that was during a video where we had a really big um, sort of fish and seashell uh, Fitz and Floyd haul. Um, and I've already sold several of those pieces. Um, so this one sold for $17.61. Then uh, we've got the Salt Marsh Thistle dish um, that I paid $2.49 for and that sold for $17.79. Then there was a little trinket box with a swan uh, on the top or a pair of swans actually um, and I think I, I think I paid $1.49 for that um, and then we sold it for $10.70 so a little bit of profit there. Then in the same video as the, all the fish and the Fitz and Floyd stuff, um, we picked up a few refrigerator dishes and I had sold all of them except for one. And so the one that I had left was um, by GE. It was actually a GE brand, General Electric branded one. So it had the GE logo on the top and I considered keeping it um, because all of the appliances in my kitchen are General Electric. Um, and they're the original appliances from 1963 when my house was built. So I considered keeping it um, and using it because actually I would like to have a refrigerator dish. Um, but I, I did list it. Um, I think we paid $7.49 for it. I rewatched the video and I couldn't exactly see the price and like a fool, I did not write it down. Um, but we sold it for $30. I, I listed it for a little more than that. I wanna say like 38 or something and I got an offer for 30 and I went ahead and took that. That's about what it's worth. Then we've got um, the Vernon Kilns University of Alabama uh, plate. 
Um, and those Vernon Kilns plates um, have sold really well. I think I've only got one left. Um, I sold two in this past couple of months. Um, so this was the first one. We paid 99 cents for this particular plate and it sold for $36.45. So a really nice profit on that plate. Then uh, we've got the Yellow Bird uh, vase that was uh, by Maddox of California. And I think I bought that off camera uh, because I wasn't able to find it in any of my videos. I tried to go back and watch and see what I paid for it. Um, I believe I paid $349. It's another item that for some reason I didn't write down, um, but I'm pretty sure it was $349 if it wasn't $549, but I think it was $349. And we sold that for $14.99. Then um, there was the Rubens uh, planter, the Get Well uh, little doggy planter, and I spent more than I typically would for that planter, uh, $9.49, but it was beautiful. Um, it was made in like 1964 or 66, 66, I think. Um, and it had all the stamps and everything on it to show that. And it was in beautiful condition, no chips or scratches or fading. It was just really, really pretty. So I went ahead and, and grabbed that really quick um, that day. Um, and then wound up selling it for $22.66. So we made a little money on that. Then there's the Andrea, um, pair of, of quail. Um, and I sold uh, a, a larger sized quail um, of the same design, but a different colorway. Um, in my last uh, What Sold video, we saw that one. Um, for these quail, there were two of them, and um, I picked them up for $5.49 and $4.49 um, for the smaller one and the larger one, comparatively. And then uh, we wound up selling those for $38.22. So a really nice profit on those as well. Then um, we've got the Norcrest uh, Bluebird figurine. Um, I think I got this off camera as well, and I believe it was $3.49, and we wound up selling that for $22. Then there's a Studio Pottery um, Bud Vase that um, we bought, um, I think it was during one of our Sun City trips, and uh, really beautiful very strange, odd, three bud, um, handmade, beautifully glazed vase. Um, I paid $4.49 for that and I sold it for $45.50. Then there was uh, the Cupid um, bud vase by George Good. Um, it was from 1986, very, very cute. I thought it would sell for Valentine's Day and um, I did sell it on February 8th. Um, so it was I believe delivered in time for Valentine's Day. Um, I had paid originally for that $2.49 and we sold it for 12 bucks. Not a huge profit. I believe it was sold on an offer. I think I originally listed it for 14 or 15 or something like that. And I was offered 12 and I took that. Then on the 10th of February, um, we have um, one of the German 3D uh, little wall hangings uh, that we've picked up several of those. Uh, we sold one of those um, February 10th. I paid $4.49 for that particular plate. We sold it for $27. So they do sell really well when they sell and, and they actually sell pretty pretty good. Um, I've sold um, almost all of them. I think I have one left from Germany and I have the Paris one left and I believe they're both listed. So good sales on those. Uh, then we've got the Wacama Pottery um, Chicken like pitcher and that was very popular actually when I posted that video I got a few quite a few comments on that and how you know people liked it and thought it was a really neat little pitcher um, we paid $3.49 for that and I sold it for $26.75 so a really decent profit on that as well um, then there's the Unreal Quimper uh, bird plate it's a French plate um, and that particular brand, that Compare brand, um, is apparently really collectible. And I didn't know anything about it. Uh, when I turned it over, I was like, what is this? I know it's French, but I don't know what it is. Uh, when I looked it up, I was like, oh, oh, okay. There's a lot going on with this with this brand. So I actually picked up several of those pieces. I think I got a picture listed still. And then there was a little small picture that I um, bought at the same time that I bought this plate. Um, and I got each of them for $1.49. So total steal, 
Um, unfortunately, there was a little bit of wiggliness that happened and that little pitcher was damaged. And so I wound up um, having to throw that away. So I lost out on that. I only paid $1.49 for it, but it was probably worth about 50 bucks. So that really sucked. But the plate, um, I did wind up selling uh, for $46.50. So paid $1.49, sold it for $46.50. Very good profit on that. That will be a brand I will continue to look for. Then on February 16th, uh, we sold the Sicily plate. So it just goes to show again that certain souvenir type things do actually sell. Um, so I will make sure that I, you know, pay attention to the ones that do. Um, this Sicily plate I bought for $4.49 and I sold it for $14.49. So I didn't make a ton of money, 10 bucks, but I'm okay with that. Uh, $10 is $10. It all adds up. Uh, then there's the 10-inch round bamboo mirror um, that I got uh, off camera. I did not buy that when I was uh, during a trip that I filmed. Uh, but I thought it was really neat. Um, it, it, not necessarily vintage per se, but it had a kind of an 80s vibe to me and I liked it. I thought it was pretty and it was in really good condition. So I picked that up um, and I sold it very soon after for $19.75. So I was very happy with that. Uh, very good profit on that. February 18th, um, I sold the chick in the little egg. Um, it is a planter uh, by Live, Live something. I can't remember what, Live Trends, I think. Um, and I've seen several of them actually. After I picked that one up, I saw a few. Um, but that one took a couple few weeks to sell, so I, I hesitated on picking them up. Um, but they are really cool and really cute. And um, so if I see any in the future um, of that particular brand, I'll probably pick them up. Um, anyways, paid $2.49 if I didn't say that, and we wound up selling it for $11. Then um, on February 22nd, there was the uh, recycled glass platter um, by from Pier 1. Um, Pier 1 stuff does pretty well. Um, this particular platter, it was just sort of kismet, I guess, that it sold. Um, although I think it probably would have eventually sold anyway, but the person who bought it, um, I was in Sioux Falls during this time when all of these things sold. And um, I, so I said, I'm out of town, but as soon as I get back, I'll ship it. So there might be a couple days delay. And she said, not a problem, but my kids, this is, it was her mom's plate or something, and her kids broke it. <laughs> so she was getting a replacement before anybody found out the truth. So I hope that all worked out for her. Um, anyways, paid $4.49, and I sold it for $27.70. So that was a sweet deal. Um, on February 23rd, um, I sold a couple of things um, at, on offers. They were offers that were made to me, and I went ahead and, and took them. Um, there was the, this little Austrian bird figurine, very, very pretty, um, vintage, probably from the 30s or 40s. And um, I sat on it for a little while uh, because I priced it a little high and wanted to see what would happen. Um, I only bought it for $1.49. Um, then I did some research and found out what it was and saw what the comps were. And I think I listed it for maybe $38, $39. And I got an offer for $30 and I took that. So $1.49 paid, $30 sold, very good profit for that. And then there was this uh, Tanala owl figurine um, that I bought, I believe for $5.49. Again, not on a video and I didn't write it down. So my bad. Um, but $5.49 I think is what I paid and I got an offer for $30 on that and I went ahead and took that. Then on February 24th, uh, I sold the little pig tile from Buttercup Farms from 1985. Uh, we bought that at the uh, Salvation Army. There were a few pig tiles that I bought during that trip. I paid $1.99 for it and I sold it for $9.79. Um, then on February 24th, I had quite a few uh, purchases that were made. Um, the first one was a dimpled drip glaze sugar and creamer set. I'm pretty sure I bought those for $3.49 each. Um, and I sold the set for $39.65. Really cute. They were little, but so pretty. Um, and studio pottery. They're, you know, handmade. So really neat little pieces. Um, then there was a couple of wooden carved figurines. There was the 
they were both gazelles and one was small and the small one I paid $5.49 for and I sold it for $18. And then the larger one, I paid $6.49 for that one and I sold it for $21. Um, those sold to the same person, so I'm glad that they're they're together still. And then uh, there was a Studio Pottery tea light holder, uh, blue with some little like uh, you know cutouts in it, so you can see the light shine through. Really cute little thing. I paid three forty nine for that, and I sold it for seventeen dollars and forty four cents. Uh, then on March third, uh, we had the Charm Craft um, Harmony Retro Plate set. So there were three of them uh, that we found. And um, I remember how excited I was because they're just really cool, like kind of, they were 70s, 70s, but they were also kind of 50s because they had this like atomic sort of design to them. They were really neat. They were $2.49 a piece when we bought them. Um, I sold that set for $26. Um, March 3rd, again, um, I sold the Art Glass Chicken. Um, through some research, it to, said that it was made um, but made for Cracker Barrel. Um, when I worked at Cracker Barrel, we did not ever have that. So it was either during the two years that I've been gone or it was before I got there, so 10 years ago. Or, well, more than 10 years ago. So definitely kind of a cool piece. Um, no damage or anything, which I thought was neat. Um, and I picked that up for $4.49 and I sold it for $26.55. And there are either gunshots outside or firecrackers. I do not know what's going on. So if you hear that popping, sounds like firecrackers. I don't know what they're celebrating. Who knows? It happens all the time. They're celebrating because it's Saturday. They're celebrating because it's Monday. They're celebrating because it's the 15th of the month. I don't know. There's all kinds of things that go on. Constant fireworks. I can't stand them. Anyways, so on March 3rd, again, um, I sold the uh, alabaster box. Um, it was a little pink alabaster Highmark Italy box. Um, I sold that for uh, $11.45. I paid $5.49 for it, I'm pretty sure. Um, it had a little bit of damage on the back, um, so it was a decent profit for what it was. It was still a really cute box, very pretty. Then on March 6th, um, I got an offer and then I countered um, and I wound up selling um, the second acrylic floral abstract art piece that we bought some time ago. Um, the, the first one that I sold, um, and you can see it in my last What Sold video, um, I sold it almost immediately as soon as I listed it. I'm pretty sure I paid $3.49 each for those paintings. They were very inexpensive and they were absolutely beautiful and they were by the same person and I considered selling them together but I wound up listing them separately and now they've been split up. I know, I'm terrible, I'm a horrible stuff dad, but um, I did li list them separately. I sold the other one and then this one finally sold for $110. So it was a really great profit and I'm happy it went to a home, um, somebody that's gonna care for it and love it because it's beautiful. Then on March 9th, um, I sold something that I've had for a really long time. I think I bought it before I actually started doing these videos. So I had it for a minute <laughs> and um, it was listed for, you know, for all that time. But it's uh, it was this wall hanging, Aquarius wall hanging. Um, and it was new. It was still all wrapped in plastic. And uh, I think I paid $1.49 for it. It was really inexpensive, just like a little cardboard, like from the 60s or 70s. And that sold for $7. So not a huge profit there, but it sold for more than I paid for it. So I was happy with that. Then on March 10th, um, I got uh, the Imperial uh, glass. Uh, it was like a carnival glass plate. Very, very pretty, all kinds of purples and greens, like this very peacock sort of colorway. It was absolutely beautiful in perfect condition. It still had the Imperial sticker on it. Um, and I listed that for $65 and I got $65 for it. And I paid $5.49. So score on that. I was very, very pleased with that. Um, also on March 10th, um, a couple of auctions that I did um, for items uh, ended. And so uh, there was a Royal Copley duck figurine that I picked up and I did it quickly, so fast, without really paying attention. 
So here's a lesson to be learned. Uh, make sure you're really looking things over and you're paying attention to what you're getting um, because when I got it home and I got it cleaned and I went to go list it, I noticed there was a big chip on the tail. Um, um, so I paid $4.49 for it and I wound up listing it as an auction, uh, I think for 99 cents starting bid. And I got a couple of bids and I wound up selling it for $1.25. So I lost a little bit of money on that. But when I made so much profit on other things, obviously it, it all evens out, <laughs> more than evens out. But um, but just make sure you're, you're looking because that's why I did that. I thought, well, if somebody wants it, let's see what they'll pay for it. And so it went to a good home for $1.25. And then I, in a baggie, I bought a bunch of little things in like a baggie. And one of those items in the bag that was $3.49 uh, was a little uh, bunny bell from 1984 uh, by Avon. And I think it's adorable and um, really sweet. But for some reason, A, bells don't sell very well. B, Avon doesn't sell very well. And so when I looked up comps on it, thinking, oh, this is going to be worth some money, it wasn't worth hardly anything. So I did that as an auction as well for 99 cents starting bid and somebody bid 99 cents and they won. So I sold that 99 cents on that bell. Um, but like I said, it was part of the baggie. So I didn't really lose any money because it was a dollar out of that 349 bag. And so the other, there's a couple of other items that I have listed out of that bag and we'll see what happens um, with those. Then on March 11th, I think it was like the day after I listed it, I sold uh, this Madonna statue, uh, Virgin Mary. It was like a plasticky kind of composite material, really, really pretty, like 13 inches tall. It was really tall as well. I paid $3.49 for that, and I wound up selling it for $24.92 right away, just like that. So that will definitely be something I keep an eye out for. Um, then on March 12th, uh, there was a little uh, metal pansy um, in, a, in a pot. Um, but it was really cute little metal figure. Um, and it had some damage, but those little pieces sell really, really well, um, regardless of damage or chips. They're very shabby chic kind of an item. So I think I paid $3.49 for that. I couldn't find it on my video. The video where I think I, where I know I bought it, I didn't have the sticker showing. So I don't know exactly how much I paid, but I'm pretty sure it was $3.49. And I sold it for $29. Also on March 12th, there was an elephant um, that was kind of sitting on the side of a bathtub, um, a, like a, made out of clay. It was kind of like a rough material that wasn't glazed. Um, it was like a little planter, or you could use it for soap or whatever stuff in your bathroom, cotton balls, whatever you want. Very cute. I think I paid $3.49 for that as well, um, and I sold that for $14.65. Then there was a Kim Originals Cardinal. Um, figurine birds sell really well for me so anytime I see any of those types of figures that aren't chipped or broken because unfortunately that happens a lot um, I've tried to pick them up and this one was a really pretty one that I found um, it was $4.49 and I sold it for $19.65 then um, I had the Temptations uh, measuring cup set um, and it had all the measurements it was like a set of I don't know six or eight little cups so cute and it was in the rose color, um, which they don't make at all for anything anymore, um, like a kind of a mauve sort of pink color. It was very pretty. And I bought them for $7.49, and I sold them for $45. So really great profit on those. Then there was a pair of little Tanala sandstone uh, birds, really pretty. Uh, I paid $4.49 each for those and uh, got $36.94 for the pair of them. Um, then there was this cute little blue uh, bird, like a blue jay um, planter or like a bud vase. It was really, the opening was really small, but it was very cute. I paid $4.49 for that and I sold that for $27.64. Again, birds do really well for me. Uh, March 14th. There was a sunflower um, cast iron trivet that I got in a baggie for $3.49. Um, it had some damage and some wear to it, but I thought, again, that kind of shabby chic kitchen look, a uh, country kitchen, that somebody would go for that. Um, and so I somebody did go for that, and I sold it for $14.30. Then on March 15th, 
Um, I got a pair of these Via Tree Italy um, vintage little, they looked to me like orange blossoms or citrus blossoms, these cute little bowls. And I thought, oh my God, please don't let them be broken because they were in a baggie and I couldn't really completely look them over. I mean, I tried to see as close as I could, but I thought, well, for $3.49, I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on them. And when I got them home, um, they were in great shape. So I was very, very pleased with that. I think there was one tiny little chip on one of them, but it was on the inside, so you couldn't even see it. Um, so I paid $3.49 for them, and I sold them for $35. So that was a great score on that. March 17th, um, I sold the Folk Art Kitchen Wall Hanging. Um, we saw two of those in our travels, and uh, I think it was the second one. When I saw that second one, I was like, wait a second, I need to pick this up. This is really cool. And that one was actually in better shape than the first one that we saw, so I'm glad that I got it. I did sit on it for a little while, um, but there was lots of interest in it, so I was curious to see what was going to happen. There were quite a few people watching it. And finally, um, somebody bought it for $22.70, and I paid $3.49 for it, so that was a good profit. I also got the uh, Safari uh, wallpaper. There were four rolls of uh, like a wallpaper border that was a Safari type pattern with uh, different African, you know, animals. It was a giraffe and a zebra and a, an elephant uh, and a tiger, I think, or a jaguar or something like that. Um, there were four rolls in a baggie for $2.49, and I sold those for $42.55, so that was a good profit as well. Then there was a cute little Takahashi Bluebird uh, frame, a uh, little kind of pottery frame. I paid $2.49 for that, and I sold that for $16. Um, then I bought them at different times, but I went ahead and listed them together. There was a, a Pier 1 um, pitcher that was like a blue shell uh, sort of shape, design, um, like a larger pitcher. And then there was a little creamer, and that one was from Blue Sky, but they were exactly the same pattern. And I was like, okay, well, this is weird that they completely, totally match, and so they don't technically go together, but I wanna sell them together. Um, so I did. Uh, I paid $8.49 for the pitcher. I think I paid $3.49 for the creamer. I'm pretty sure I bought that off camera, um, but I think it was $3.49, $4.49 maybe. Um, and I sold the set for $45.65, so I definitely made some good profit on that. Um, then there was the Art Pottery Blue Glaze Bowl. We got that at Salvation Army as well. Um, I think it was signed by Rex. And we paid $3.99 for that, and I sold it for $15.70. Then on March 19th, uh, we sold the little dandelion uh, or thistle. It looked like kind of a thistle sort of plant to me. It was a little needlepoint, again, a little framed needlepoint, not very large. I paid $2.49 for it, and we sold that for $15.33. Uh, then March 21st, um, I sold another beautiful piece of art. Um, it was the landscape uh, oil painting with the kind of bamboo print sort of frame. Uh, or bamboo shape frame. Um, pretty sure that that was $14.49 and not $17.49. I think it was $14.49. And that was during the video, the trip where we went to a Goodwill and the, there were several pieces of art that I bought that day. And they were all like, what? Why are these so expensive? Because typically the artwork is like $3.49, $5.49, $8.49 maybe sometimes. Uh, but never like $15, $16, $18, and it was this this trip. And I I said, okay, I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to buy it anyway, and we'll see what happens. And I mean, I knew I would make a profit. It was just a matter of how much. Um, and I've already sold a couple of those pieces. I sold one like right, at, right after I listed it. Um, but this piece, $14.49, we paid, and I sold it for $60. So really happy with the profit on that. Um, again, on March 21st, um, I sold a set of two Mikasa Garden Club plates. They were $4.49 when we bought them for the set of two, and I sold them for $15. So again, those vintage plates, um, even if it's one or two or three, they do sell. Um, people have collections and they try to get more. Plates break and they go on eBay and try to find other ones. Um, or they, like me, they just like having mismatched retro plates. So <laughs> they do sell. They're a great, 
They're a great pickup. I love them. March 22nd, we sold the Pottery Bird Feeder. Um, I really liked that. I thought it was so cool and, and neat and fun. Had two little kind of abstract birds on the top and then it was open on the inside so you could put the bird seed in there. We paid $3.49 for that and we sold it for $14.50. Then on March 23rd, um, there was this little Virgin Mary porcelain wall hanging. Um, really pretty and, and sweet and um, from what I can understand, kind of rare. I, I wasn't able to find any exactly like it. There was one uh, very similar in design, but it was Jesus instead of Mary. Um, and so I kind of went based on that as far as pricing. Um, and I did get an offer and I kind of countered, I counter offered that offer. Um, and then the person did not choose to counter back. And, and so they, they bowed out um, and I thought, well, shucks. Uh, that's too bad. But a couple days later, I got an offer that was a good, fair offer. Um, and I went ahead and took it. So I sold that for $15.50. Uh, we paid $4.49 for it. So I made a little bit of profit on that. Um, but it just goes to show that, you know, if you, if you counter offer and the person's like, nope, the offer I sent is the most I'm going to pay. Well, there's still tomorrow and somebody else will, you know, pay a little bit more. So... Uh, March 24th, um, I, I picked up off camera this really pretty Fenton uh, blue um, milk glass candle holder. It was a single candle holder that you can like kind of walk around with, I guess. It had a little handle on it. Um, really, really pretty. And it was so cheap. It was $1.49. And I thought, well, I got to pick this up. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot about glass, but I knew that it was something special. Um, and it was, and so I wound up selling that for $15.50, so great profit on that, $1.49 original price. March 27th, we sold another Vernon Kilns plate. Um, this one was for Riverside, California. Um, it cost us $0.99, cents, and we sold it for $20 to somebody who lives in Riverside, California. So really cool profit on that. March 28th, um, I got some, again, off camera, I got some um, pink Arcarac France um, glasses, drink glasses. Um, you can use them for whatever, water, wine, whatever you want. Uh, but I got a set of three of them. And again, I was like, oh, gosh, I really wish there were four, but I know these have value and people will want to add to a collection or replace ones that have broken. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up. They were $1.49 each, uh, and I sold this set of three for $18.60. Then March 28th as well, uh, we sold finally the Orifers River Rock uh, tea light holders. And we sat on those for a little while, but um, they brought us a really fantastic profit. They were $4.49 each, and I sold them for $62.55. So great profit on that. Uh, then on March 29th, I had uh, several sales. Um, and for things that, again, we were kind of, you know, sitting on for a while. So I'm glad that they finally sold to somebody who's really going to appreciate them. Uh, we've got the Salsa Art Pottery Bowl, a uh, little server for Salsa. Um, they're really cool. We paid $4.49 for that, and I sold it for $16.75. Then we had a set of four Art Pottery Soup Bowls. They're so cool. Really pretty blue, purpley brown glaze, and then the handle on the bowls was really, really big and exaggerated, so it was just really cool. Um, almost like a mug, kind of like you could put your hand on it and kind of hold the bowl if you wanted to. It was re They were really neat. Uh, they were $3.49 each, and I sold the set of four for $49.50. And then uh, my Fitz and Floyd, I think it's the last of it from that from that trip, from that video with all the Fitz and Floyd fishy stuff. Uh, but these were a set of two canisters, a larger one and then one that was a little smaller. And on the top was a pink fish with some vegetables and things. Um, they were so, so, so cool. Um, I really, really liked them, and uh, I paid five forty nine for the larger one, and or the smaller one, and six forty nine for the larger one. I think, I'm I'm like ninety nine point nine percent sure that that's what I paid. Um, it was they were very inexpensive, and I wound up selling the pair of those for seventy two dollars. And then last but not least, on March thirtieth, um, this was also something that I think I bought in a short. I didn't buy it during a long form video. 
It was uh, when I started doing shorts, which have been very fun to do and they're very quick. So in between videos, I can post those to kind of still keep you guys entertained. Uh, but I got this little metal pig sculpture, like a scrap metal little pig. And I thought those are collectible. People do like those. Um, and almost immediately, um, I wound up selling it. Not a huge profit, but I paid $2.49 for it, and I sold it for $10.50. So total spent was $306.20, and the total sold price was $1,741.23. So my total profit was $1,435.03. So not too bad for two months. Um, thank you guys, as always, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you are curious to see kind of what's going on as far as my profits and my life and all that good stuff. Um, so I will make sure that I try to do these. I said this the last time and then I got sidetracked and things happened, life happens. Uh, but I'll try to do them every month so that they don't take a long time and it's easier to process. Um, this was, you know, a couple of months, but I will try to do one every month at the end of the month or the beginning of the following month, whatever. Um, and I just thank you guys ever so much for all of your love and support. Um, if you've gotten through this whole video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really would appreciate if you would do so. I am fighting to get to a thousand subscribers by my six month anniversary of doing this. And that is on the 15th of April, which is not even two weeks away. So I would really, really appreciate it if you subscribe. I'm at 953 subscribers as we speak. So, so, so close. It is, it is, it is right there. I can taste it. I can see it on the horizon. And I really, really want it. So um, thank you all so much again. For everything and until next time um, have fun and be safe in your travels and I will see you later.